Hello, I'm Dr. Beth Godey. And I'm Dr. Martha Leatherman. I'm a geriatric specialist in psychiatry. And I'm a neuropsychologist, and I specialize in aging. We're experts in dementia care, and we're here to provide you some information and answer some questions that we hear very commonly about dementia and other issues in aging. You know, families ask us a lot what kinds of medications or treatments are available for someone with Alzheimer's or other forms of dementia. And I'm sure you get asked these questions a lot, being a physician and thinking about prescribing the medications. So maybe you could tell us a little bit about the names of the medications and what they're supposed to do. Sure. Um, the, the medications for memory problems fall into two broad classes. And the first class, um, they kind of block the um, turnover and absorption in the brain of a, of a brain chemical called acetylcholine. And the medications that work on that system in the brain are the older medications for memory and Alzheimer's. The, the oldest is Denepazil, which is known by the brand name of Aricept. There is another one uh, known by the brand name of Razadine, and that is galantamine, is the, the generic name for that. Then there's rivastigmine, which is also known as Exelon. Um, so those are the three broad ones. They're very similar in makeup. They have a little bit difference in terms of FDA uh, approval for how they're used and what they're used for. The side effects tend to be similar for them. And as I understand it, uh, uh, acetylcholine, the neurochemical in the brain, is associated with memory function, but it's also associated with other parts of the body as well. Correct. Acetylcholine is found all over the body, and it's especially found in the intestinal tract. So the medications can cause side effects through the, uh, their acti actions in the intestinal tract, such as nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, appetite loss, that kind of thing. Although I haven't really, in the patients I've seen, I haven't really heard a lot of complaints of that from people. It doesn't happen in every single case. No, and um, our best estimate is that probably 20% of people might get one of these side effects but there's no good way to predict if you're going to be part of that 20%. Sometimes the side effects go away after using it for a little while. Sometimes it's dose dependent, so if you increase the dose, the side effects will be worse. And sometimes switching from one of these medications to another um, it, it is fine. They might have side effects on one medication, but not, not on the other. Now, it seems uh, sort of uh, weird to say, here you have memory problems, remember to take these pills every day. So one of the medications has a patch form. Correct. The uh, Exelon comes in a patch. Um, but most people do pretty well remembering to take one medication a day because they have heart medications, they, they have a caregiver uh, often, right. and uh, so they're, they're able to do that. But, but you're right, I mean, it is kind of counterintuitive here, remember, to take the medication for your memory. But. And then there is another medication that has been added in recent years, I've seen more and more. Right, it's called Mementine, uh, and the brand name is Namenda. It works on a completely different neurotransmitter pathway, um, has completely different side effects, it doesn't cause the nausea and that kind of thing. Um, we use it as an add-on medication. So you start with this acetylcholine system with the medications that I just mentioned in that first group, and then we add on the Nemenda, which is a twice-a-day medication. Now, here's an issue that families often uh, tell me about. They wonder if they uh, should be able to take the patient, their loved one, off of a medication. Can they skip doses? Can they not take it for a while if, because it might be too expensive? What's the thinking about maintaining the dose over time? And, and that's a very good question. The other parts of this medication talk that, that we're doing here, dosages, side effects, which medication to choose are things you need to talk about with your own physician. 
Broadly, though, there is this overriding question about um, how long do I stay on the medication? Let's say you've been on both of these agents, the memory has improved, but over the course of time, the disease continues to get worse, do you stop the medication? Couple of principles. The medications don't cure anything. They, one way of looking at how they work is that they slow the progression of the illness. Um, but they, they don't cure anything because as we've talked about in earlier um, uh, discussions, this is a, a disease that, that the nerve cells in the brain degenerate. They're dying and, and you can't really stop that. So many families will say, well, I didn't notice any change in my mother's memory when she got on the medication, so we just took her off. And the important thing to remember is the medications don't give you back the memory of a younger person. They're meant to delay the progression of the disease. And sometimes people really do see an improvement in memory, and, and that's great when it happens, but it's not always what we're using the medications for right. or what, what our sort of end point is. Um, can you stop the medications? Uh, yes, you can stop the medications and certainly early in the course of taking them, you can stop them for weeks or months. For somebody who's been on the medication for years and been doing well, what usually happens if you stop them is a sudden decline in function. Uh, they decline quite rapidly and you don't always get that back if you start them again. So end of life decisions, um, when to stop medication, again, is something that has to be looked at individually with your physician very carefully. Because even if, if you've lost the memory effect of the medication, sometimes they also provide some behavior control, uh, allow people to control their impulses a little bit, um, uh, help with some of the repetitive behavior that you might not even know that you're getting that effect until you stop the medication and things get worse. That's true. But you do need to talk to your loved one's physician or your physician about the specifics of each of the medications to make uh, appropriate choices. For more answers to questions like these, our book, The Insider's Guide to Dementia Care, is available at Amazon.com.